trust that your journey is filled with victory i just want to take this opportunity to thank you from the bottom of my heart for liking the video sharing it and subscribing um please continue to do so it is greatly appreciated you can find us on youtube facebook anchor and spotify at podcast faith or you can just search my name gershan sunny and the videos will come up i just want to share something with you really quickly this morning um it takes place from genesis 2 verse 15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. In this passage God was actually speaking to Adam and directing Adam. I want you to understand that God directed Adam to tend to the garden. He assigned him as a protector over this place. He chose Adam to be a custodian to this garden. You know I I think this is relevant in in what's going on today. I believe that we are on planet earth for a plan and a purpose. and to be custodians to this place as well this burden rests on no one else but the sons of god you know i look at facebook and i look at youtube and i see all these videos of these ministers praying and fasting over us and over what's going on but what are we doing uh, during this time you know it is our time now to contend during this pandemic during this world crisis it's our souls that are required You know I love what Nehemiah did. Uh, the Bible says that Nehemiah went back to his hometown. You know when he heard about this crisis that was going on, he went back to his hometown to rebuild the city gates and walls which were burnt down. I believe that you know it's our time now to contend for our father. I just want to read uh from Psalm 33 verse 12 to the end which I feel is so relevant in today's In today's crisis blessed is the nation whose god is the lord the people he chose for his inheritance from heaven the lord looks down and sees all mankind from his dwelling place he watches all who live on earth he who forms the hearts of all who considers everything they do no king is saved by the size of his army no warrior escapes by the great strength a horse is a vain hope for deliverance despite all its great strength it cannot save but the eyes of the lord are on those who fear him on those whose hope is in his unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine we wait in hope for the lord he is our hope he is our help and our shield in him our hearts rejoice for we trust in his holy name May your unfailing love rest upon us O Lord even as we put our hope in you. I just want to read this again one more time over you. But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love to deliver them from death and keep them from famine. We wait in the Lord for the Lord. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice. for we trust in his holy name may your unfailing love rest upon us o lord even as we put our hope in you god bless you